Hello there. If you're like me, then you probably have countless CDs lying around, and chances are you've already ripped them to an MP3 format years ago. Now that you already have those songs stored as digital MP3s, you don't need to save those CDs anymore, right? Wrong. In this video, I will show you how I rip CDs to flack with Media Monkey, and how to set up your collection in Tomahawk, which is what I use for music playback. Now, the first thing to do is pick a CD. No, not that one. No, this one will do. Just gotta get the case open with one hand here. Ugh, there it is. So what we're going to do now is open up Media Monkey, right click on the audio CD, and we want to auto tag from web. Up here you type in the name of the artist and the album, and then search, and it's going to bring up the options. I forgot to put in the name of the, yeah, I forgot to put in the name of the album, so I'm going to redo it. So it's a dash between artist and album. Search again. There it is. Then you hit auto tag. Okay. And you see all the song titles got changed to the correct titles. Now rip audio CD. Make sure it's set to flack settings. Those are the settings I use. Here you configure it to save the directory you want and then the subdirectory of the artist and then inside that folder the album. Okay. And then just hit OK to start ripping. Now we're going to open up Tomahawk and uh, go over here to the wrench, configure Tomahawk, collection, plus sign, navigate to the directory that you ripped your music to, hit OK. You might have to relaunch Tomahawk. I, I didn't. Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, gentlemen. gentlemen. 